Mercedes have continued to share their displeasure over Pirelli's new development without mincing words. And the highlight of it all came during the Austrian Grand Prix when the German team's performance was nowhere near impressive. The drivers claimed it was Pirelli's new tyres that caused a major part of the poor performance and the F1's sole tyre distributor responded that it wasn't true. So are Mercedes drivers just sore losers or is there something actually wrong with Pirelli's new development? You'll only find out if you stick around. Since Pirelli announced they'll be changing the structure of their tyres, there have been grumblings in the background, especially from Mercedes. And one can't blame them because they've been having a really hard time adjusting to the new regulations that have been introduced lately. Pirelli's motorsport director Mario Isola explained that the changes are long overdue because the teams are developing their car at a faster pace and they couldn't be the reason their targets are not met. We've seen how much more performance the 2023 cars have compared to the last year throughout the opening races of this season. And that is thanks to the extraordinary pace of development shown by all 10 of the teams. Pirelli's simulation work has always been aimed at not only supplying a product that hits the performance targets specified by stakeholders, but also anticipating any potential problems and reacting to them quickly. He also gave a detailed explanation of the new features of the tyres. He said F1 teams should be ready to bid tyre warmers goodbye because they won't be needed anymore. The Pirelli director also assured them that there was nothing to worry about because the tyres would be thoroughly tested before they're fully introduced in 2024. The new specification contains material that we have already developed for 2024, which will make the tyres more resistant without affecting any of the other technical parameters or their behaviour on track. However, after a few tests, many of the drivers couldn't hide their displeasure. In fact, Mercedes team driver George Russell in not so many words called it a death sentence. The new set of blanket-free tyres was given to the Mercedes and Ferrari team drivers at the Spanish Grand Prix. They completed a total of 617 laps and afterwards, they were asked to share their thoughts. The Ferrari team didn't say much because it seems the tyres were a perfect fit for them. We'll come back to discuss that. But Russell didn't mince words and outrightly told the whole world the tyres were not the right fit for F1 tracks. The British driver said that although he didn't face any major challenges on the Barcelona tracks, it was just because the road had the right temperature and not because the tyres were outstanding. He mentioned that when he tested the tyres earlier on another track, it was quite a struggle to get the grip the Pirelli team promised. In hindsight, it probably wasn't tested in the right conditions at the right circuit. I think if you go to a circuit such as Barcelona, which is quite an aggressive tarmac, it was 40 odd degree track and temperature, fully rubbered in from the race weekend. But if I compared that in contrast with the start of the year, when I did one run in Jerez in 10 degree track temperature, it was extremely difficult to get out of the pits. The Pirelli team were not pleased with the F1 Drivers Association representative statement and they urged all drivers to give the tyres a chance. They mentioned that a fully modified version will be unveiled at Silverstone and they should wait till then before giving their judgment. Initially, Russell and his team might have considered saying nothing else about the tyres, but they just couldn't after their performance at the Austrian Grand Prix. That weekend was their weekend since they brought back their side pods. They were barely able to win any points as Russell and Hamilton had only struggled to get 7th and 8th place respectively. The disappointing performance was what led to Russell venting out in frustration about Pirelli's tyres. The driver could only qualify 11th for the Grand Prix and 15th for the sprint in Austria, and he said it was all because it was difficult for him to get his tyres into optimum operating window. After the race, Russell highlighted all the issues his team had with Pirelli, especially because they couldn't do a personal analysis of the tyres and see if they had to make any adjustments to make their car more compatible with it. The tyres are the only thing on the car that we don't make ourselves. You're given a product and you can't even take that product back home with you to analyse or do your own testing with it. Here's what you've got and deal with it. If we could take that tyre home, chop it up, the brilliant engineers would then probably be able to understand it more. But obviously, Pirelli believes it's their secret recipe and want to keep hold of it. It makes it interesting, 
but it's equally very frustrating. Despite Russell's complaints, Pirelli's chief engineer, Simon Bearer, said that Russell should probably find someone else to direct his frustration at because their tires were not the reason for the poor performance. He acknowledged the fact that the new tires might prove to be a challenge because it's different from what they're used to. But it has no safety issues, nor is it as bad as Russell portrays it. In terms of safety, I don't see from the data that I've seen any specific risk. You need to change the way you're driving in the first lap for sure. Drivers will have to adapt their driving style even to protect the tire because you can generate graining even if you push too much in the first corner and the tire is not up to temperature. This response wasn't what Russell wanted, but he decided it was best to wait to see what would happen at Silverstone. Last weekend was the British Grand Prix, and Russell and his teammate found themselves among the first five with Hamilton emerging as the third and Russell as the fifth. And so far, there have been no complaints about Pirelli's tyres. Is it that the tyres are now good enough, or they are only problematic when the Mercedes drivers are having a hard time? Whatever the case may be, it seems like Pirelli blanket-free tyres are here to stay. And one team that might be pleased with this new development is the Ferrari Formula 1 team. Since the introduction of the cost cap, Ferrari, just like its rival Mercedes, have been having a hard time on the grid. And it's mostly because they can no longer throw money at their problems. This season, they started on a very unimpressive note, but after introducing some upgrade packages at the Spanish Grand Prix, their performance began to improve, and now it seems things are going to get better for them because a rival team pointed out that the new Pirelli tyres are a perfect fit for the new structure of their car. This might give them an edge over other teams because when the likes of Mercedes are trying to come out of their pit stop, theirs will comfortably roll out. Maybe that's the reason the team driver Charles Leclerc didn't say anything negative about the tyres while his other colleagues were venting out their frustration. Also, the team's principal, Frederic Vasseur, called the new tyres a game-changer when he was asked about them. But in other news, Pirelli might need to worry about being replaced by another manufacturer as the sole tyre producer for F1. In 2011, Pirelli was able to secure a contract to make them the only manufacturer of F1 tyres, and they've done everything right to keep that position. But an old rival, Bridgestone, has revealed its intentions of replacing them as F1's tyre supplier from 2025. The Japanese tyre manufacturer was once a supplier to motorsport, but they got pushed aside in 2010 when Pirelli won the bid to be the sole producer. Now, they are back, and they have the backing of several drivers. Besides the whole tyre blanket removal drama, drivers have been urging Pirelli to produce a tyre that is less sensitive to overheating when pushing hard or trying to overtake. But nothing has been done, and now Bridgestone has promised to produce such tyres if they're given a chance. Reports say that Hamilton and Fernando Alonso, who are two of the three drivers currently on the grid who have used Bridgestone tyres, have shown their immense support for the return of the Japanese tyre manufacturers. They described how incredible driving with their tyres was, especially the fact that they could drive flat out throughout a Grand Prix without being concerned about the tyres exploding. So, should the FIA consider Bridgestones for the 2025 season? And do you think Bridgestone would be a right fit? Kindly let us know in the comment section, and until next time, drive safe.